It's a special day every year, but this year we commemorate the 10th anniversary of the achievements and success of Home Base. So many of you have been with us since the beginning, and we are very grateful for your unwavering support, which literally has saved thousands of lives of our heroic veterans. We have a group of veterans here today who are graduates of Home Base, and true to their selfless service, they are running to support the wounded and injured warriors who will follow them. So we want to thank all of you on this stage. We want to thank all of you for your bravery that you have demonstrated on the battlefield and the courage it took to seek care for your injuries. Thank you. You hear about the men and women that go through this incredible program to reclaim their life and get their life back. And we're here today to celebrate 10 years of this incredible program in helping veterans and their families to be able to overcome the challenges, the invisible wounds of war. Part of the reason why we as a Commonwealth wanted to find funding so that they could spread the message and make this program and the model that they're using more available to more veterans and to more clinicians was because it works. It saves lives, it saves families, and it gives us a chance to pay back the debt that we can never repay in full to the men and women who keep us free and protect our democracy and our freedom. Today, the Red Sox Foundation puts the sunlight and the spotlight on one of its most important and impactful programs. Over the past 10 years, 25,000 runners have come from 30 states to fund this pioneering program through the Red Sox Foundation's annual Run to Home Base. Together, they have raised more than $20 million to help fund this program at no cost to our veterans. To date, more than 21,000 veterans have benefited from this extraordinary program. Won't you please now welcome some of our home base heroes. We thank you and we congratulate everyone associated with the Home Base Program on its pioneering successes and its 10th anniversary.